Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pack a dishwasher. Uh, now, I'm quite passionate about this because uh, running a family of five, I need things to run efficiently and I need all my kitchen wares to be cleaned properly. Before anything goes in the dishwasher, there's a few things I'd like you to know things that I've learned along the way. First of all, do not put uh, wooden utensils in the dishwasher, they split. No crystal, um, any good kitchen knives, don't put them in the dishwasher. Insulated cups will not be insulated if you put them in the dishwasher. And what you do need to do is make sure you pre-rinse majority of, of plates and cups and bowls that go in there. Couple of reasons why. One, if it's going to be in the dishwasher for two or three hours, it's going to dry off. So it's going to be really hard to clean. And the other thing is if you're using your dishwasher a lot, just make it efficient. Soon as you've finished with a, a plate, rinse it, put it straight in. So they're not stacking in the sink as well. So let's get to know our dishwasher a little bit better. These are your spray arms. You've got an upper spray arm and a lower spray arm. Now, if you can see here, this is where your salt goes. It's important to make sure that's topped up. Most dishwashers, will tell you, your little light will come on. That's quite normal for the water to be like that. The light will come on telling you when there is salt. Just watch how I sort of pour it in. This is dishwasher salt. It definitely needed some salt. The salt um, just takes the harshness out of the water and will help with lime scale and things like that. Don't worry about the little leftover salt around it. Put that back on. Now, if you're having problems with your dishwasher or it looks like it's not cleaning like it usually does, come and take out your lower spray arm. Now, I'm about to take out the filter. This is your water filter. To unlock it, turn it away, pull it out. Now, there's a bit of overflow water in there just from the salt. Don't be afraid of the water filter. Get to know it. This little contraption here, to, to, to remove it, press these two together and open it up. So make sure you give this a good rinse. You may find food in here. You may find it just needs a good clean, a general clean. I have found glass in here. I have found a safety pin in here. The safety pin, um, had actually become rusty and uh, it was feeding through the through the machine onto our um, cutlery, funnily enough. Just take it up to the sink, give it a good rinse when it's open like that, rinse all in here with hot water, warm water. Then we put it back in and it's as simple as just making sure those arrows are, are lined up again and it's secure. Put your lower spray arm back in. That's all you have to do. Make sure this one is moving uh, freely, which it should be. When you're stacking the bottom tray, never put plastics on the bottom because it's the heat and the pressure will mostly come from below. So you wanna use the plates and pots that are more stained. Always your plates first, then your bowls. It's just a smoother line. Some dishwashers, it works better if you stagger your plates. Large plate, small plate, large plate, small plate. If you need to get the water flow a bit better um, in your dishwasher. Larger items like uh, the breadboard, they can always go on the side or at the very back on the last row. Ideally, the middle shelf or top shelf, depending on the arrangement of your dishwasher, where your plastics should go. So plastics up the top, glasses, and what I try to do when it's a tall glass, if your dishwasher isn't fully stacked, you wanna make sure these don't, the tall glasses don't fall over. So make sure you secure it with a shorter glass beside it. And then with your bowls, I just try to, you don't need to leave a whole space, depending on the bowl, you wanna make sure the water can flow through the bowl. Plastics, everything facing down, or you're gonna have cupfuls of water. Utensils can also go in here if you don't have the top tray. So with the um, safety rack or the wine safety rack, you'll see um, you've got these little spaces in between here. You have it up if you have no wine glasses at all to put in and you can put taller glasses as normal in there, just like the other side. Ideally it's up when you have long stemmed wine glasses, which means the actual base of the glass would sit there. 
I don't have any long stemmed and even my champagne glasses are not long stemmed. So I need it down. As you can see with my dishwasher, I have a top shelf cutlery holder. A lot of other dishwashers, you'll still have the cutlery holder in the bottom rack. This rule can still apply when you're using the cutlery holder in the bottom um, in the bottom shelf. Still group your different sizes of knives and forks in separate compartments. So as you can see here, I've got all the starter knives and forks, the main soup spoons, teaspoons. I put some utensils in there. If your knives are dishwasher friendly, this is a place that they can go. Okay, now for the detergent and rinse aid. I am a fan of rinse aid. I use Ecova, which is eco-friendly. Uh, the whole idea of rinse aid is to take out all the watermarks out of your glasses. So the difference, I don't know if you can see that, that is streak free and that's got a way too many streaks in it. So rinse aid will reduce all the, the, the watermarks and streaks. There has been a lot of talk about putting vinegar in as your rinse aid, but putting it actually in this uh, dispenser. Now it is highly acidic, so anything rubber it's just going to wear it down. I think on an empty dishwasher throwing in a cup of vinegar not a problem, but I'm not a fan of the, the rinse aid, especially when this is eco-friendly. Detergent, what detergent you use is entirely up to you, uh, but just play around with a few until you find something that works. Please don't overcrowd your dishwasher. It won't clean properly and you'll double up the work and you'll use twice as much water and electricity to do so. As you know, I'm a family of five, so we actually do this probably twice a day, but at the end of the day, we stack it up, leave it overnight, and it's lovely and clean to come into for the morning. When you're programming your dishwasher, make sure it suits what's in there. If it's a light load, it's a full load, but it's a light load, just do light, lightly soiled. If it is uh, heavily soiled, use heavily soiled. <laughs> but I always push the energy save on and your water should be around 40 to 50 degrees depending on what you're washing. One other thing, when you're unpacking your dishwasher, if there's anything is wet, especially sometimes your plastics, dry them straight away or you'll have watermarks on them. So there you have it. That's how I load my dishwasher. I'm sure there's a hundred other ways to do it, but that's what works for me. If you've enjoyed this video, remember I do lots of other videos on beauty, paleo, and lifestyle, so please subscribe. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. So these are your, that is my cat. What's wrong?